Okay, so this is a quick review of relations and functions. All right, so let's talk about domain and range. All right, so you can see this is listed. And uh, first off, we want to list the domain. The domain is all the x values. So <clears throat> let me get my red here. Negative 1, 2, 3, and 5. And we want to close that out in braces. All right, so we listed the domain. Negative 1, 2, 3, and 5. All the y coordinates are the range. So we got 0. 4, we would not list the 4 more than once, and 7, and again, we close that with a brace. Okay, so the domain is negative 1, 2, 3, and 5, and the range is 0, 4, 7. Now, the domain is made up of all the x's, all the abscissas. So each abscissa, negative 1, 2, 3, and 5, when they're all together, it's called a domain. The y uh, values are the ordinate or image. And when all the ordinates or images are together, it's called the range. All right? We also want to figure out, is this a relation and is it a special relation also called a function? So remember, a relation is nothing more than a set of pairs. Is everything paired up? And yes, everything's paired. Okay, so it's a relation. Now, to be a function, any first element input can have only one output. So does negative 1 only go to one value? Yes. Does 2 only go to one value? Yes. Does 3 only go to one value? Yes. Does 5 only go to one value? Yes. And remember, I gave you the example of a computer. If you input, you want a definite output. There can only be one possibility to output. So let me just show you. If perchance we had also a 3, uh, 11. Now, all of a sudden, we're not a function anymore. We're still a relation, but not a function. Why? Because if I input 3, what do I output? Well, I don't know. Do I give you the 4? Do I give you the 11? I don't know which to give you. That would not be a function. Okay? So, any x is mapped to 1 and only 1 y, and therefore it is a function. Okay, four ways to represent a relation or function. First one is an x-y chart. That's real simple. The domains are listed and then whoever they're paired with are listed. Now, in this case, you are going to list the four two times because you're showing the pairs, x, y chart. Pretty simplistic. Second situation is simply by listing it in set notation. It was initially given to us in set notation, and that's why it looks the same, because that's how the function was given to us. The third way is to graph. And so graphing, this is simply a set of points. So we're going to graph the point negative 1, 0, 1 to the left, nothing up. There's that point. The point 2, 4, 2 to the right, and 4 up, right there. The point 3, 4, 3 to the right, and 4 up. And the point 5, 7, 5 to the right, and 7, all right, I'm at 4, 5, 6, somewhere up there, right, for 5, 7. Okay? So graphing. And then the last way to represent a function or a relation is with a circle mapping or a mapping diagram. We always want to say domain and range, at least if we want to be very technical. And that can go on the top or on the bottom. And it's just simply the domain. You're going to list your domains, negative 1, 2, 3, 5. And your range, again, this time, just like in set, you're not going to repeat anything. Don't forget to finish it by mapping it. You have to map the negative 1 this abscissa to its ordinate. Negative 1 is going with 0. Map the abscissa to the ordinate. 2 is going with 4. Map the abscissa to the ordinate. 3 is going with 4. And map the abscissa to the ordinate. 5 is going with 7. All right, four ways to represent relations and functions.